Hi guys! In this video, we will explain how to get, modify, and flash Marlin's firmware in New York Reality Ender 3 V2 3D printer. You want to know more? Stay tuned! Hey you guys, welcome back! But before we start, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel. Also, if you like our channel and want to help out, you can join our Patreon page or click on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. Clicking on them will not cost you a dime, but will help the channel out. So, as you might already know, the Ender 3 V2 stock firmware has a few bugs on it but Creality quickly released firmware updates to fix those bugs. And there, you can find the stock firmware and also the contents of the memory card that comes with the printer. You can check the video description below for the link. The firmware file is already compiled, so when you download, you get a bin file, and that's the one you will use to upload to the printer. For the first generation Ender 3, and before you could install the firmware for the first time, you had to install the bootloader. With the V2, you don't need to worry about that. Just copy the bin file to the memory card, insert it in the printer, turn the printer on and wait a few seconds. The board will automatically upload the firmware. The downside of the bin files is that they are already compiled, which means that if you want to edit something in the firmware, like changing the printable area, for example, or add a leveling sensor, you can't do that with this bin file. You need to have the raw or uncompiled firmware to do that. Well, we are in luck. Just a few days ago, Marlin version 2.0.6 was released, and this new version now supports the Creality Ender 3 V2. The example configs are also available in Marlin's website, making it much easier to work with. So, go to Marlin's website and to the download section and download version 2.0.6. Next to it, you can find the example config files, so download those as well. Once the downloads are complete, extract the contents of both zip files. After that, you will end up with a couple of folders. Enter the Example Configurations folder, then Config, Examples, and search for Creality and then Ender 3 V2. Here you can find the config files and also the files for the display if you plan on editing the look of your display. Select all the files inside this folder and copy them into the firmware's Marlin folder. You will be prompt with the question to replace or ignore the files with the same name. So you need to choose Replace All. On the first generation Ender 3, the board is an 8-bit one, so we could use Arduino IDE to compile the firmware and upload it to the board. On the V2, the board is a 32-bit, and Arduino IDE will no longer work. To compile the firmware, you will need Visual Code Studio and Platform I.O. Both are free to use. So go to Visual Code Studio's website, download it and install it. Next, download and install Platform I.O. With both installed, open Visual Code Studio and at the side, you can find Platform I.O. Next, in PIO Home, Click on Open Project and select the Marlin folder where you have the platform.ini file. And here it is. The first screen shows the settings for the platform I.O. One thing you need to check first is the environment line. For the Creality Ender 3 V2, you need to change this line here and enter this line. You can find this information inside a pins.h file under the line that defines the board for this printer. The 
That's all you need to do here in the platform I.O. screen. The main firmware page can be found here inside Marlin configuration.h and configuration adv.h. Here you can make your own modifications. For example, the X and Y axis travel limits. The stock firmware limits the printable area down to 220 mm by 220 mm. Here you can change that and increase this value so that you can use the entire print surface. When ready, go ahead and compile the firmware by clicking on the small check at the bottom of the screen. When done, and if everything compiled correctly, you will see the green line with the succeed word in the middle. The compiled bin file can be found inside the folder where you have the firmware. So enter the firmware folder, then .pio, build, then this long name that matches the environment we typed in before, and inside you will find the firmware bin file. As we explained in the beginning, this is the file that you need to copy to the memory card, but there's one important thing you need to remember. If you plan on flashing the firmware more than once, you need to use different file names when saving the bin file to the memory card. The printer's bootloader will remember the last file name used, and if you try to upload using the same file name, you will get a blank screen next time you boot the printer. So don't forget to give different names to your bin file before saving it to the memory card. If you take a closer look at the file name, you will notice that it includes a timestamp. This was made to help you having different names automatically. So keep the name as is and copy the file to the memory card. With the file saved in the memory card, place it in the printer and turn on the printer. Wait a few seconds and that's it. Simple as that. The language, however, was set back to the default one, but it's easy to change back to English. In the info menu, we can see the version number updated with the Marlin version that we updated. For some reason, the bad size was not updated, but the travel limits were. One more thing is that this new version now allows us to save the settings to the board instead of the memory card. And that's it you guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Also, if you are not a subscriber yet, go ahead and click on subscribe and don't forget to activate the little bell so you can be notified every time we publish a new video. If you like the channel and would like to help out, you can with the affiliate links posted below in the video description or join our Patreon page. We will see you guys next time. Bye!